Uh, most memorable show I've ever attended, I believe, must have been Vivian Westwood's, perhaps was year 94, and it was the collection Café de Paris. It was a show in Paris, and Westwood was showing two shows on the day, and it was full. What was really amazing, uh, where I saw the when I saw the actual following of Westwood at that time, it was the whole world united within one venue, within one part of the world, you know, where everybody just gathered and paid their homage to the designer. I think that was pretty powerful. I believe it was like the golden era of uh, Vivian and she had a, at the time, I mean, she's obviously a very uh, known and respected uh, designer and it was maybe a at the most, imp you know, every designer has his peak, I believe, and 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 they they show a lot of the strength in design, uh, and I believe she had like all these prints, which were print very bold all over, and um, until today, I believe many designers are inspired from that period or even previous period of Westwood, but we all take an inspiration out of those times. And uh, definitely that show was uh, something that perhaps maybe stayed within us until today. In those days, what was really beautiful is that people were com communicating a lot. And in those days, the, uh, the internet was not in, in power. And so you have to go to the shops, buy your clothes, and then you know you have this close contact with, with the salespeople. And at that time, at World's End, there was, uh, there was two guys that worked there, uh, Derek and Simon. And they, they noticed that we're going quite often into the store, very interested in in Westwood designs, we're supporting, buying, wearing, enjoying. And they, they thought, oh, guys, would you like to come to the Westwood show to see, experience it for once? And we thought, yeah, we would be very interested. And they give us uh, two tickets. And I remember driving off from London to Paris, going into this journey, you know, um, almost like a pilgrimage, going into, going into Paris, getting into into sort of this frenzy, media frenzy, to get into the show. And I witnessed and experienced this most fantastic, phenomenal show that really triggered something in, in, in us that that was the idea that we actually, we wanted it in a way to work, to work in, not only in fashion, in actually in be involved with the arts. Because I believe some of the works of Westwood is so close to an art just is something that we do, we'll wear, but um, it's, it's absolutely um, fascinating, I think, just being there and experience such a powerful message, you know, through a moving silhouettes and images and prints. If this show would have been shown again uh, in this time, I think it will have a huge impact on, on, the, on, on, the fashion, on the fashion world. I still believe that this is like one of the monumental shows that I've seen. It was playful, it was fun, it wasn't serious as people take it as... And even you see like the models were enjoying it, I remember there was like an ice cream. Going, going around in the models, and this is this is what's so charming. Sometimes the fashion can be a little bit too serious, <laughs> or rather, people take it a little bit too serious. That's what, perhaps, maybe the idea behind KTZ when we started it was always put a bit of like fun element to it. They should always have a twist, you know, rather than just uh, becoming more serious and serious. It's like no, no, no. 
let, let's never fa- let's never fall into that trap of being uh, too serious, because it's very easy to go that way. I think.